And uh, joining us is Musira Ziyane, a South, South African Liberty Foundation, who joins us on the line. He's also a chairperson of Musira Attorney. Now, welcome, sir, to PROM. Now, is the secret ballot argument a, a careful construct of the opposition solely aimed to split the ruling party? Well, what, what happened here was with other cases, South Africa in general is under siege. One can consider this a constitutional attack by the opposition parties. All of us have been told, or rather informed, that the ruling party, particularly the president of the ANC, is undermining the constitution. Mm. But today, or rather, with this process that is unfolding, we now understand that indeed the attack of the constitution from the opposition parties, but above all, is that South Africans in general, the electorate in particular, are under siege by the opposition parties, whom through the minority votes that they've received want to change what is perceived to be a majority rule. One wonders what is therefore termed democracy. Because democracy in our understanding is that the majority shall rule all over. We go to vote. Now you have a situation here today where people want to ask court to amend what we have fought for for many, many, many years. All along, we've asked that we should have a government by the people, voted in by the people, mm. but today we want to see that being amended by a few who consider themselves the protectors of this constitution. But in truth and in, 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 in true honesty, these are the people who are attacking our constitution, undermining the core principle of democracy, which is simply that the majority shall rule. Now... What they are asking the court to do is both unconstitutional, unheard of, and illogical to, to come and say there should be an amendment of the Constitution via that court. It is wrong to ask the court to allow it to proceed in saying that the vote by the ballot paper in that regard will be undermining the overall representativeness that is being done by the members in there. But mm. be that as it may, parties that are there, members that are of, of the ANC are not there because they like to be there, but they were voted in. They represent a party. Mm. Same applies to those opposition members. Those opposition parties are voted for by their parties. They do not go there on their individual ticket. Coke members, DA members, EF members, they went then converse as a party. No one was voted in as an individual in that parliament. Mm. People were voted in because of the policies that they presented to the majority of South Africans. People were voted in because of the party that they belonged to. There was a list that was submitted. We all know that there is a national list, there was a provisional list headed by the president, mm. and in other instances, if there was a provincial list headed by the, either the chairperson of that province and so forth. So we voted those people in. Mm. And having done that, now... Well, those people say. are heavy. Yes. They say that uh, those that are in their members of parliament must vote with a conscience. What conscience is there? There's no conscience. The only conscience that is there is representing us, those that have voted for them. That is the core conscience. The core conscience of the African National Congress that is what those members of parliament should be voting in. They are not going to vote as individuals. They are voting in large, they are voting as ANC members. And there's no way that the court should allow that there be a secret ballot. It's not there in the Constitution. There's been an attack on our Constitution. We, we cannot ignore even for, for a fact the, 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 the judgment that was granted by Judge Valley. Which I'm asking to what's going to happen. Now, Mr. You know? uh, Mr. Mr. Tiani, uh, can you can can the Corn Court force a secret vote in Parliament, given the separation of power uh, a power principle, especially given that it seems more of a political gambit than a legal one? No, no. I, 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 I for one, would not think that at the moment you will have a constitutional court allowing the the court, or or, or rather the constitution or the constitutional court allowing that there be a 